let's begin i have uh, oh by the way i'm sorry i forgot to introduce myself my name is vibha thakkar um i'm actually a mixed media artist love working with watercolors uh, i've also been on let's new mic before and it has always been a pleasure being here and i'm again with another uh, nice uh, easy tutorial so in case you've not seen my first tutorial we did that one on negative uh, painting it's still saved on let's new mic page in their igtv so you can always watch it and uh, hopefully a lot of you are going to paint along with me today so let's start Okay, mindful creative. I'm going to wait, but in the meanwhile, let me just show everybody uh, what color palette I have here. So I'm using this from Camel. Okay, these are tube colors, quite worn out, but uh, I still love them a lot. I have a water bowl here. just let me know in case you wish uh, for me to zoom it yes fatima it's going to be uh, what colors thank you shubha yes negative painting was awesome i received a lovely response from all of you guys hopefully uh, after trying this also everybody will uh, you know tag both of our pages let's new make and vibha thakkar and uh, we'll be happy to share your creativity on our pages so let me again show you what we are doing today we are going to do this okay um so in case you are wondering what exactly is silhouette doodling silhouette is uh, the dark shape of something that is seen uh, you know that is seen uh, against the light against a brighter background so what you see here is uh, is a bright background usually you can see a lot of silhouettes in the evening you know when the dark is uh, when the you know when the sky is very dark and all you can see are black figures so on the same principle we are going to doodle some birds today the reason we are doodling birds is because it's independence day and uh, what better way to express our freedom than to draw birds uh with the corona situation everywhere i think uh, only the birds are the ones who are flying around freely all of us are caged so hopefully everything will normalize soon and we will be able to fly like these birds you want me to turn it a bit left okay i think this is fine now is it i'm not really um, for this one you don't really need a nice uh, watercolor sheet all you can do is uh, just take a normal sheet of paper and uh, you can work along with that too so let's start because i think the wash is going to take some time to dry before we can start doodling on it so i'm going to take a normal i think this is a 10 number brush i'm going to take this brush and uh, start creating a nice wash even if you don't have watercolors you have brush pens you can use them too to create a nice watercolor background yes you can use drawing paper too uh, tulsi i will switch off the comments just 5 uh, minutes more let everybody settle down and understand and then i'm going to surely switch off the comments okay have fun while painting the background don't worry about uh, too much because anyways we are going to draw doodles over this don't let the background be too dark okay play with colors but don't let it be too dark because then uh, the black doodles wouldn't look that great so keep it a little light and if you can see i'm just having a lot of fun doing this background painting not really thinking too much
I think I'm going to add a little darker shade of red on the edges just because I feel like if you have a nice pink you can add a little bit of pink to it I don't have a nice pink with me but if you have it in your palette please go ahead and add some pink uh, yellow orange red and pink look lovely and since I am using a watercolor paper here so I am quite uh, you know painting over it again and again but if you're using a normal sheet of paper don't keep using your brush too many times stop okay once you apply your color just stop it otherwise your paper will start coming out so here I think I'm quite happy with the background it looks lovely red orange now the fun part is uh, to let it dry if you have a fan um, which I'm sure you have it but if you have it close to you then take the sheet and dry it in the fan because uh, before we start doodling it's very important that the background layer kind of dries up also if you must have noticed I have added this over here this is uh, called the carpenter's tape you can just add a tape so that uh, your your watercolor sheet doesn't buckle up and secondly also to leave these nice white margins at the edge so it's completely optional if you don't have it work with a normal sheet of paper no issues with that too Sheetal, is that a question for me? Is it raining there? No, it's not raining. Why do you ask that question? Okay, the tape is actually called a lot of things. You can call it as a washi tape. It could be a carpenter tape. Um, you could also use a surgical tape. So, it's used for watercoloring. You know, when you're doing watercolors, you create... Uh, it's easy to pull. So, that's why you put it. It's called masking tape also, right? Thank you for helping me, uh, my painting stories. So whenever everybody is done with their background, please show me a thumbs up. Okay. And uh, one of the very easy way to check if your paper has dried up and you're good to use another layer on it is to touch your paper. Just touch your paper. And if it is cold, it feels cold to the touch. That means it is still not dried. So... Even if it looks dried, it has to not feel very cold when you touch it. Then you know that your paper is done. Oh, Sheetal, I think that was my fan which I have now switched off. I hope the voice is now better. Can you do without the background? Uh, is what Shubha is asking. Yes, dear, you can skip the background and just do the doodles. So now you can keep your watercolors aside. You won't be needing them. All you would need is a black pen. And if you have a waterproof pen, nothing like it. So I'm going to be using this pen here. It's uh, a pen by Sakura. It's called a Micron 05. You can use this. Hello. Hello everybody who's just joined in. So in case you're wondering what we are doing and if you've just joined in, we are going to be doing this. We are going to be doing a silhouette doodle today. And uh, the reason we are doing birds is because it's Independence Day. And let's draw some birds and, uh, you know, celebrate our freedom. Yes, you can use brush pens too. No issues with that. So my paper is kind of dried, it's still a little wet in places, so let it dry a little more and then we'll go on to the next step. 
what's there on the other side of the paper okay <laughs> so pile uh, i have another doodle that i did on the other side of the paper so i keep experimenting a lot and uh, this was done in a different style first i just added some patches of colors on the paper and then i did the background and i also did a silver doodle right next to it so this is what i've done great i think uh, this is kind of a little wet at the edges but then in the middle it's uh, it's kind of dried so let's start doodling now in case you have a hair dryer you can also uh, kind of just use a hair dryer and uh, quickly dry your paper so i'm going to be using this pen here okay and we're going to be drawing some birds now even if you've never uh drawn birds trust me they're the most easy to draw and i'll try to make them as simple as i can so let's start with a simple bird first so let's draw a straight line okay i know that my pen is going to blot a little because my paper is not very dry if you have the patience um you can what you can do is take another sheet of paper and draw the doodles with me and if your paper is dried which it will if you keep it under the fan so you can do that but i think i'm going to start now so i'm going to draw this little d shape here okay then i'm going to draw a beak and i'm going to draw the eye of the bird okay this is going to be the wings of the bird and you can add so many textures in it so i'm going to add some little hues here okay and let's make this like a fancy little cute bird so that's my bird okay now uh, since we're doing doodling and it's called silver doodling so we are supposed to color the birds right because we're supposed to show the dark shapes against a brighter background so for coloring the pen uh, so coloring the bird i have i'm going to take um, let me see if i can if i have a brush pen here if you have a brush pen uh, like if you have those camel brush pens you can use that and um, color with it what i have here is okay i'll switch off the comments so what i have here is this uh, brush pen by sakura again and it's got a better nib you know it's got a like a thicker nib so just because it becomes easier i'm going to start coloring this i was really amazed the last time when we did negative painting um we had so many people who used that same style and did some really beautiful artworks so this time also it's not necessary you have to do it with birds you can even try it with different other things like you can take different types of leaves or trees and you can try silhouette doodling with it and if you do please do tag us it feels really nice to see people's creativity so yes i have a cute little body here and i'm going to go on to the next bird now so for this bird we're going to make the birds in all the different directions okay the sizes will vary and uh, they are going to be very very um, designer <laughs> so i'm going to draw a little s kind of a shape like an ulta s okay and then i'm going to be joining it this is the beak of the bird and it also has these pretty eyes and maybe here i'm going to draw so you can see it's heavily inspired by our by how a hen or a uh, you know a cock looks so yes so it's kind of like a hen but not really and what i'm going to do is give it a little bit of um, an interesting touch okay so i'm going to draw these shapes inside it
okay you can fill it up with this shape now again I'm going to switch to the brush pen and I'm going to color this Wow. I'm going to switch on the comments for some time in case uh, you wish to ask something. So we have two birds here. Let's try and make an owl now. Okay. So for that, we're going to draw two big eyes first. Draw two circles inside. Now I'm going to draw this and my owl has wings here. Now we just color this. And uh, I think I'm just going to give this a little outline so that my wings look a little different and I'm going to leave that not color it black. Wonderful. Let's color the top of the owl too. So we have this cute little owl here. Let's try and draw a different kind of a bird now and I want this bird to be kind of cut okay so I'm going to draw it at the edge so that it shows like it's kind of peeking from here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a shape like this okay draw my eyes Okay. and uh, this bird has different kind of wings maybe it's saying a hi so <laughs> I think I'm going to add that okay. 
now if you wish to you can add a lot of textures uh, you know different kind of designs so maybe you can leave some circles and draw some circles here i think i'm just going to draw colored black now and i'm going to draw little designs here We got a color all around it. If you don't have a nice black pen, what you can do is if you have poster colors, then you can just take poster colors and draw this too. Or even if you don't have any of it and you have just watercolors, uh, take a lot of paint, like thick paint, black paint, and you can make it along with that too. So here we are kind of finishing it So this is a big paper that I've taken. So obviously you'll have to do a lot of birds. But if you have a smaller sheet of paper, you can draw big birds or you can draw smaller birds, but a lot of them. This is again a different type of bird. Now I'm going to draw and I'm going to give it some texture here. Here we draw some lines. Okay. And uh, I'm going to draw a circle. Fine, and maybe it has these wings and maybe longer legs. So, this is the portion I'm going to leave as it is. Switch down the comments for some time in case you wish to ask something. You can go bold with the different uh, with different types of birds here. If you want to just skip the background, um, you know, you can also do it on a colored sheet of paper. So I think Let's Numic has this obsidian collection and uh, I love their diaries. So yeah, maybe on that kind of a diary, if you can do these black doodles, I think now that I'm thinking about it, I think it will look very nice. So yeah. Even a black sketch pen uh, will do. You don't need this brush pen that I'm using here. I don't have a sketch pen. That's why I'm using a brush pen. But if you have a sketch pen, go ahead and use that. So I have these birds coming along and uh, I think here I'm going to draw one more bird 
okay so ensure that to see what kind of shape is there so i have this kind of uh, s shape here so maybe my bird will also be of that kind of a shape so you know you what you can do is as an exercise just draw some lines here and there and convert them into birds it's a fun thing to do Mm. Palak, I don't know why do you ask that. Um, can everybody see my video? Can I? Can somebody just show me a thumbs up? Has the video paused or something? Okay, you can. I just got. Worried because uh, because Palak asked me the session has ended. Thank you guys. Thank you for those thumbs up. We can see. Thank you, Tulsi. Okay, great. So we can continue. I am not going to be talking too much because I want this to be a very. Um, therapeutic exercise where we kind of spend some time and enjoy painting it's quite simple and uh, you can actually find your peace by drawing these birds and hoping that soon everything will get better and we'll be able to fly around and go to places not get worried about some virus affecting us so with that hope um, drawing these birds Thank you, Pyle, for that, for all those thumbs up. Yes. Okay, now I think we need a bird here at this this part. Okay, so I'm going to draw a very simple kind of a bird here. I'm just going to draw an oval first. Okay. Big eye here. Um, I think I'm going to draw the beak in a different way. Maybe I'll draw this kind of a beak. Maybe he's a singing bird. And uh, what else? I think I can just. And maybe he has a tail. I just switched off the comments so that everybody can see this. Also, people don't forget that um, if you try this and you post it, uh, do tag me and let's new make. Uh, so we we can tag you back in our stories. I think we can do some kind of a design here in this one. So just wondering what we can do. Maybe draw some curls like this yeah I think I'm going to just draw two of them otherwise this bird will take too much attention and obviously it's not necessary again that you have to color it with black if you want you can just color all the words with just one very dark color so you can color it with a dark blue or a dark purple and uh, even that would look nice so uh, the same style is used to do watercolor painting when you're doing uh, evening skies and you know you're doing these silhouette uh, drawings so stay
stay back and I'll show you one of the paintings that I did in the similar style. So I did a wash and then I did uh, something else over it in black. So I can show you that painting but maybe let's just finish this and I'll show you that painting. Wonderful. So this is coming along very well. And um, it's time to draw one bird here. It's okay if the bird is getting cut a little. It will add a little bit of visual interest in it. So you can see that just by drawing simple shapes, you can convert them into birds. In case you wish uh, so that I can repeat a bird, let me know that. I think I'm going to leave the, the feather like that. It looks pretty. Not going to do anything there. I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, maybe move on to the next one now. So for this one, again, it's going to be simple. It's probably looking in this direction. So we're going to draw it like this okay and it's it's sitting and it's looking in one direction is what we are trying to show okay i think i'm going to color all of this but uh I'm just wondering what we can do here. Maybe just these ovals. Now again, I'm just going to color it. Like I said, um, if you wish to practice this more, you can try it with different types of leaves. Um, you know, there are a lot of ways that you can interpret it and do it in your own style. I think I'm just going to add two more birds and then we will add some leaves in the background. And um, I think that will do. Okay, so here I'm going to add a little tiny bird okay, and this face is going to be a little flurry. here it's all coming along wow i love this more than what i've done before i think this looks so much more balanced and nice i'm just going to add one board here because this looks a little empty to me so while you're doing this composition ensure that you do not make it too uh, you know too filled up there's supposed to be some breathing space or 
or white space as we call it so if you don't keep that white space then it looks extremely congested which we don't want it to look uh, so here I think I'm going to have a little birdie from here Okay, so this is my bird here. Wonderful. So now what we can do is we can add a little bit of texture in the background, but I still feel this looks emptier. So I think I'm going to add one more board there. Okay, I think this looks uh, good now. What I can add is uh, a few leaves in the background. So for that, what we'll do is just make, and we're not going to color them. If you want, you can, but we're not going to color it. So it looks like a nice pattern. I will read your comments just give me one minute guys let me just finish this and show you how to draw the leaves so just wherever you feel do not overdo it wherever you feel there's a lot of empty space and you need to balance it out is where you can add your leaves okay a lot of people have asked me which paper which pen I'm using I joined in late. In case you joined in late, I think this is going to be saved on Let's New Mix uh, IGTV. I will also be saving it on my YouTube channel. So you can watch it any place. Uh, the pen that I'm using is a Micron pen. It's by Sakura. I am uh, I'm using a watercolor sheet here. But like I told you, you can use a normal sheet too. Like... Um, I think I have this sheet and I work with this sheet too. So this is uh, Let's New Mix, uh, you know, A3 size uh, sheet. So you can work on this sheet too. And um, if you want to work on a watercolor sheet, then go with something which is like a 300 GSM or a 200, 250 GSM. But for this one, you wouldn't need something which of a higher GSM because uh, we've not done too many washes. It's just one plain wash. Thank you, Mamta, for that comment. Thank you. My YouTube channel name is also the same. It's Vibha.Thakkar. Is cartridge sheet good too? Yes, Nishita. Cartridge sheet is also perfect for this. 
by the way guys uh, let's new make has turned 5 so happy birthday let's new make <laughs> uh, it's always a pleasure coming on let's new make and doing these live sessions okay so my youtube channel name guys is vipha.thakkar you can check it out i have almost 16 17 videos on it thank you tulsi that's so nice to hear that your son liked it um, it's quite an easy thing to do and uh, the best part is uh, you can make shapes of uh, different sizes and fill this page up so cute thank you payal padul okay i am going to show you now the watercolor uh, landscape that i have done with in using the same technique so just give me one minute If you see this, I have done this using the same technique. Something white has come on it, and yeah. So I've used the same technique here, and I've done these flamingos. Okay. And uh, I also did this one with the same technique. So this is like a man who's kind of lazing around. I think the colors. Uh, Now that I'm seeing the colors look a little off in the camera, but yeah, this is much more brighter. I think. So yes, these are done with the same technique, and you can do something like this. Like you can just draw three birds um, instead of drawing all of these doodles. Thank you for all those beautiful comments. Uh, thanks, Akshita. Thanks, Nishita. Okay, so just a few more things left in this. Okay, so what we can do is, I will um, draw some dots. Okay, maybe like circles, small and big, at some places. Can we sell doodles? Do they have any scope? Yes, dear. Um, if you want to, you can. There's a market for everything. To start with, why don't you just get this uh, digitalized and uh, get it transferred to a coffee mug and something, and uh, use it and flaunt it and gift it to your friends? So that's what I do actually I've never really sold too much of my artwork but I do customize it digitalize it and share it and gift it to people and friends for me art is all about sharing the love <laughs> so yeah okay some dots here and there And yippee, we are done with this. So now the best part is left, which is removing the tape, because once I remove the tape, the white edges are going to be seen. So I'm going to remove this white tape now, the washi tape or the masking tape. Yes, we have like this lovely white margin here. Let's go and do it for the other side too. Which 
brand tape i don't think this is branded you just go to your local stationery shop and ask them for a masking tape and this is how my tape looks it doesn't have any brand name as such okay, and i'm going to remove this too now wonderful so this is coming along let me remove the tape too fantastic look at this piece doesn't this look lovely and uh, now i'm so excited to see what have all of you guys painted along so don't forget to tag let's new mic and vibha dot thakkar and uh, we'll be happy to share your creativity so this is so amazing i had so much fun making this along with you guys today like i said i think i like this better than this one you know this one's looking not so great and this one's also vibrant and beautiful i hope you also enjoyed making this along once again a very happy independence day to everybody keep flying high like these birds okay i'm going to now answer all these uh, comments so we have a question here which says what can be used in place of microns in place in place of microns um, let me show you if i have a cheaper version of a pen here so you can use sketch pens or uh, there are local agile pens you know that you get in the market so pen like this this is like a local pen that i have i think it's from classmate yeah so this is like a black pen even this can be used if you need to create art you don't really need expensive supplies all you need is um, a hard to paint thank you akshita which pen i used i used this pen here it's a micron pen thank you prakash stores <laughs> okay i hope i answered all your questions and um, you had a lovely evening painting along with me you can always reach out to me you can dm me after the session um, that's my insta handle thank you so much thank you so much everybody before i sign off just one more thing this can be used to do watercolor paintings too so don't forget to experiment with this style and keep making your own style of paintings thank you bye everybody i think i'm going to end the session now